So now we're going to draw the bus from the book, Pigeon Goes to School. So it might not look exactly like the school bus in the picture, but we're going to try and make a school bus anyways. So we're going to have our paper not tall, we're going to turn it so it's nice and long because our school buses are pretty long too. So I'm going to use a pencil in this demonstration because I have to be able to erase some of my lines. So I'm going to try and push hard so that you can see the pencil lines. So our first step is close to the bottom, but not at the very bottom because we'll need to do some wheels. We're going to do a line across. Okay, and then we're going to come to the back and we're going to do a line up. And then we want this line to be a little curved. So I'm going to make a curve on the end. I'm going to go across, but not the whole way. And I'm going to curve down and come part way down. I'm going to go over, make a curve, and then come back to the bottom and join them up. So my next step is I'm going to add the wheels. So this is where I'm going to need to use my eraser a little bit. So I'm going to do one wheel over here and one wheel over here. And then I need to erase these lines in the middle. Okay, now we're going to do the rims on the wheels. So we're going to do another circle inside each wheel like this. Okay, our next step is to draw the windows and our windows are going to be a rectangle shape. So we're going to start over here and I do a line down and a line over, a line down and a line over. If you remember, rectangles are kind of like squares. They've just been stretched out. So two sides are long and two sides are short. So we're going to do some rectangles all the way down. And my lines aren't perfect and that's okay. Yours don't have to be perfect either. And you just put in as many windows as you can fit. All right, so our next step is to draw the door on the bus. And the door on my bus is going to go right around my second window, so right around here. And I'm going to draw a line all the way to the bottom and a line across the top, a line all the way to the bottom and a line across and there is our door. Next, we want to add some lights. So we're going to do little half circles in the corners at the top and we're going to add a headlight and a tail light and then we're going to add the bumpers. So you'll need to do a little bit of erasing for this part. So our bumper is going to come out like this and then I erase this part in the middle. And then the same thing at the front. It's going to come out like this. And I erase this part in the middle. So if I'm going too fast, remember you can pause the video if you need to, to look at the picture. All right, our last step is just going to be adding some more details to our bus. So I'm gonna add some circles here, and I think I'll do the same over here. And then I'm going to add some lines like this. Quite often buses will have a bus name. They might say School District 60, like in our school. And you can do some writing on here if you want. You could add a number for your bus. I'm gonna call this bus number 2361 and maybe I'll put a B at the end, just for fun. You can do whatever you like with your bus. You can color it next. 
You can draw another one. You get to decide because it's going to be your creation. So I hope you had fun and we'll talk to you guys again later. Bye for now.